Super Dave here with another exciting Mythic Legions review in episode 36 of figures, playsets, and accessories that work well with Motu Classics and or Masterverse figures. And I promised this one earlier on and just never got around to it. Already threw away the packaging, but we still want to look at these two wizards. We have Arizak or Arizak and Samir the scroll warder and I don't know if I pronounced those right but I know one is kind of looking evil and another one's looking like a maybe possibly a, a good wizard but I'm gonna pretend in my master verse with Motu that they're both good wizards one uses dark magic one uses light magic to conjure up different things and do diff different things for uh, King Randor and so that's my imagination here going on but we're going to look at both of them together over here inside the castle of Eternia and that's where we're going to go right now to check out these two awesome figures by Mythic Legions. All right coming on inside of our palace and getting over here where some of our other figures are we're going to first take a look at our Arizak and Samir Scroll Warders accessories. And first of all, here is Arizak's bio. If you'd like to pause and read that now, I know the writing is super small, but maybe you can make it out there. And he first of all comes with a set of gesturing spell casting kind of hands with those claws those long fingernails anyway and then again another hand with kind of a gripping feel to it looks like it could hold on to like a beaker or one of his bones the bone pieces that you'll see in just a moment and then he comes with a set of vertically hinged weapon holding hands here which are really nice they're vertically hinged all these others are horizontally hinged and you see he comes equipped with two horizontally hinged weapon holding hands there that's on the figure comes with two head sculpts this angry red eye yelling mouth open beard wishing off to the side head sculpt as well as a more calm stoic head sculpt still got the red eyes but you can see the white of the eyes there and uh, this is a soft goods robe that he has and a little leather looking belt that's actually plastic but it, they do an excellent job making them look leather and then he comes with this staff this staff with the and this spell casting effect piece but just take a look at that translucent red gem inside of this very long mythic legions are known for their long staffs that go all the way to the bottom and then also he comes with this long red winding spell like the, he can use that hand probably like this one right here to look like he's casting that that spell that red line going out there so that's cool and he also comes with these little beaker style potion pieces that will hook onto his belt that plastic leather looking belt and then what looks to be like a, a bird bone with a little bunch of bones here and then a long bone and a short bone. So some cool looking pieces. Looks like he's been doing some, some potions and that kind of stuff. And I've put some beakers that I have uh, set them around here just to in an open book like a spell book just to make it look authentic. Some of those came with like other action figures but then the little glass ones came just from those little uh, collect small miniature collections that you can get at hobby shops and Hobby Lobby and places but uh, he is really cool and then second of all we have some mere 
scroll water and there is his bio if you'd like to take a read of that I'm sorry for the little tear there but I think you might be able to make it out but that is Samir scroll water and, and he comes with a set of spell casting gesturing style hands vertically hinged as well as a set of I would say gripping hands that could also hold like a beaker or his little potions and then uh, also a set of vertically hinged weapon holding hands here and he also comes with equipped horizontally hinged weapon holding hands you can see he comes with two head sculpts first of all we see that he comes with this very serious looking head sculpt where his face is glowing green almost with these lines forming in it with green eyes so something's going on with that he's he's charged or he's you know uh, empowered with some ability and then he comes with another head sculpt which is more calm uh, still has some greenish color eyes but you see the sclera the white and everything's you know okay he's doing okay he's calm and his beard is pretty much the same for both of these seems like it's they're angled a little bit more downward on this one so uh, that's cool and again soft goods robe and hoodie all of this and he comes with a chain that will wrap around his neck with a book of spells now it also has that same type plastic leather style belt that's plastic but looks leather and a huge staff this one has kind of like a snake with wings instead of an eagle it's a serpent a cobra with a circle around it and then it winds all the way down to the bottom of his long staffs and then also he comes with something to hook on his belt as well this little pouch it looks like a little coin purse with a couple of spell bottles or potion bottles in it as well as a long magic effect piece that he can shoot out of his hand kind of like again that gesturing hand that spell casting hand he can shoot out that green spirally type looking effect from his hand as he's doing some kind of spell casting trick so there's our two wizards they are kind of on the short side but we're gonna take a look next at their articulation take a closer look all right getting ready to look at our Arizak. he's got that spell going on coming out of that hand looking cool there so we're gonna go ahead and remove this piece from his hand and go ahead and bring him on a little closer I'm gonna go ahead and move the staff too because it's a little bit cumbersome to work around um, that undergarment piece is mostly wired so like with the hood here you can get that to go over there and just kind of bend these wires in on the side to get that hood to kind of look the way you want it even go a little further kind of have it over his head like so and then showing you this this piece underneath it can go ahead and pop that off there is a really cool piece right here that goes around this is this is something the other character does not have you can see it goes around to the back really cool looking matter of fact I'll go ahead and pop his other head on here just so you can see how it looks like so take a look at that looking awesome then that piece on the back just neat and then if you do have the hood on just kind of pop that on and put it underneath that piece like so get it settled in there and pop his head back on here and put it over his head again and then you can see how well it looks again with that piece going on there looking cool looking neat so you saw some of the product shots now this is where it buckles here pegs right here and this is I'm, I'm tempted to glue this because it keeps popping off it's very hard to get it to stay together and you really want that belt to stay on because it holds robe in place as well as 
these little pieces like here's the bone bird head that we were talking about that he comes with apparently part of his potions you can kind of clip that onto the belt or into these little loops there on the side like I said it feels like leather that little potion thing that clips onto his belt there you're not really able to get 360 with those arms if you're gonna have this on but you will have vertically hinge and swivel you have it looks like just regular yeah single jointed elbows with the swivel we don't get bicep swivel up in there but you have the elbow swivel like you see with uh, mythic legions same with this side over here you can bend and get single jointed elbows gonna be able to bend forward about that much gonna be able to bend back about that much gonna be able to swivel at that rate waist of course this robe is gonna hinder some of that he's gonna be able to kick up kick back you have single jointed knees and you did not get the swivel there but you do have it up in up in the thigh area you don't get boot cut either but you'll be able to go full tiptoes with that foot all up all the way and gets rockers with a peg hole in the bottom and if you need to see there is the belt came off like I was telling you but if you need to do splits you will get full splits there so he could take off and do any number of things you do have a base body under here like a just a black regular mythic legion style body even with that little piece like we're used to um, look at the back here as well kind of like just an armor body but again you're not really supposed to see that the robe covers all of that but there you have his articulation let's look at the head very quickly should have started with the head he's going to be able to look up a good amount he's not really going to be able to look down because of this piece that's on his chest here but you can bend him forward to look down a little bit he's going to be able to get some pretty good pivot going on there and look side to side of course so looking good on that front basic articulation of a mythic legions character all right now let's look at samir scroll water <laughs> <laughs> and it's our Simar scroll water and we're gonna go ahead and take him as he's been working his magic here for a moment or so <laughs> and we're gonna look how he can look up about that much with his head not really gonna be able to look down as we said he will get head pivot look side to side both heads are going to be the same all of the articulation is the same with this guy we'll show you that just like with the other one i didn't show it but you do have a vertically hinged weapon holding hand for that staff or if you wanted to have him wield one of the swords that came with one of your other action figures and then you may notice what was missing here uh, again the sleeves are wired just like in the other wizard this is an all brown type motif with this one here if you look up in here single jointed elbows uh, single jointed knees same style diaphragm joint and uh, but you do have this removable hood so you have a whole hoodie type scenario so pop his head off here and there's the chain with the uh, spell book you can tuck all this stuff in and kind of get that chain the length if you want I wrapped it around my figures head, neck area just to get that going go ahead and put the other head sculpt on here as well and I went ahead and glued the back clip there so that that will not come off because it was they just kept they just keep popping off if you don't glue them but then once you get that you can use this wire hoodie to just kind of have that lay how you want 
You can have that come over top of his head just like with the other one. He can hold his staff and have that kind of curled over. So that defines most everything you need to know about Samar. There you go. And if you want to look at him from behind, you know, again, you're going to be able to maneuver this because it is wired around the seam there. So you'll be able to have some fun working with that, getting him the way you want him in every way. There he is. All right, now let's do some comparisons. And there is our two wizards next to some other inventors or possibly chemists every once in a while because we know Man at Arms likes to work in his lab mostly with technology and tools as well as our Panthro from Thundercats and I can see these guys you know working in the lab some and doing some things as well as with their technology and their tools and their mechanics but there there's just a couple of figures there's the classics style size and build see how they go along with them and then here's your masterverse style and size of course masterverse is going to be a little taller but wizards can be short and uh panthro is just a tad shorter maybe than some of the classics but mainly the same size but um far as his stature but you see how they're back basically the same size especially with counting the hoods there and i do have their heads pop down pretty low you can kind of adjust that just a little bit but uh, looking really good there i think and here is our two wizards next to another mythic legion character atlas he's mythic legions and you can see that at the top of his head he's even taller than these other two wizards so they're just on the shorter side but it's the same scale just they're short just like here we're really going back here uh, from the dead it's eldor <laughs> And he is so cool. He's got a wizardy look with the hood and the staff and, and even something hanging off of his belt back there. So he's he looks in this same line, but he's taller. So that's a classics, Motu classics, alongside of an actual Mythic Legions. So as you can see, it's in the same scale, just these two wizards, just a little shorter. All right, so here we have our two wizards next to our Club Grayskull Filmation style Sorceress, Masters in the Universe, as well as our Masterverse Tila Sorceress, or Sorceress Tila from the Revolution series. And so really awesome looking. So you see uh, Tila's mom over here, the Sorceress of Grayskull, same exact height as these fellas. And the Masterverse female is a little, little shorter uh, than the men but um and and comes in closer as far as the scale but she's still just a little bit taller than these wizards but there you have some magic folks going on sorceresses and wizards together there looking cool and here are our two wizards next to our mezco conan as well and you see they're the same size as these two wizards he is and then our super seven king conan that i just did a review of you want to check that out if you haven't already there you have a comparison and just you know again these wizards can fit in with just about any of this time period mythos you know of course your mythic legions masters of universe conan um, at the axe battler stuff even though they're going to be on the taller side uh, but just you know going to be able to have a lot of fun across the board playing around with these two wizards and some of you may make, you know, the uh, the one in the blue more of a good guy, and maybe the one in the purple and black more of a evil wizard. But I'm gonna have them both working together in my masterverse. But they are cool, and I appreciate so much you joining us today for this Super Dave review. Please come back and see us again, and here's some photos in the photo gallery. <laughs>